Diane Bonetti. And if you have moles in your lawn, like I do, you're going to have damage like this. This is big patches of earth where the mole mound used to be. Come down here, and this was a big mole mound. And I had to flatten it all up, and I'm left with a big patch of no grass. So instead of putting seed down here, in the summertime, reseeding does not work. It's too hot. Kids and dogs run across it. So I use plugs. So this is what a plug is. Plugs are just little tufts of grass, and you don't have to buy them. What you do is you just go dig up some sod from around the edges of your lawn, tear it into little hunks or plugs, and then where you have your bare spots, you just replant these little plugs into the bare spots of your lawn. And these plugs are a lot more likely to take and grow and spread and fill in rather than grass seed, which means we kept constantly moist. So that works, but the real problem is getting rid of the moles. So the best part of my day is always checking the mold traps. So let me show you what I've had success with, and that is this type of a mold trap here. It's called the out of sight mold trap. Um, it's a scissor type trap, and it has a safety on it. And the safety is what keeps these two jaws together when it's not set. So let me put the safety back on because the trap kind of scares me a little bit. And so you put this down into the runway. It comes with instructions when you buy the mold traps, follow those instructions. And then I always cover the trap with a bucket uh, to keep out, out any other critters. And then when I check the bucket, the reason why I'm feeling lucky, I watered the whole lawn last night. A lot of water means a lot of worm activity, which means a lot of mole activity. And so when these jaws are together, these, these two things are together, that means the, the trap is set. And yes, when you see the jaws have spread apart like this, that means the mole, well, we hope it's captured. You've got to kind of lift it out and see if you've got a rock or, a, oh, 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 yes, I got a mole. Okay, there he is. He's dead. So this is a dead mole because the trap worked. You can see here's where the jaws are open. Here's the jaws are closed. And now there's another great tip. Once you catch a mole, you want to bury the dead mole back in the runway where he came from because that's what's going to keep other moles and field mice and moles from using that same runway and tearing up your lawn even more. So I know I need to get, I'm not quite strong enough to unloosen the jaws. So uh, the traps come with little, little fulcrum metals that you could separate the jaws, bury him back in the trap, and that's going to leave another patch of, of uh, soil in my lawn. But have no worries, I will simply dig up some sod, a plug like this. Here's a bare spot. This mold was very active before I captured him. Put the little plugs of sod in the bare spots, water that in, and my lawn will be back to pretty good shape. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens, and let's hope all your mole traps catch moles.